welcome to my channel. Today I want to share my mini pocket letters that I've created and take you along on the way of some of the steps. And these pocket letters are for a challenge and the challenge is hosted by Joanne and her channel name is Happy Mail Stamper. So I will link her info down below in case you guys haven't heard and want to participate. You swap out three and I made four to give Joanne one and then you'll get three pocket letters or mini pocket letters back. So the mini pocket letter is just three pockets. So that was really cool in and of itself and then Joanne's going to put you into a big raffle to win all these cool giveaway items. So let me just get right on into this. So I decided to go ahead and make all the pocket letters in the same theme and I decided to use this page here. It has gorgeous images. They're not quite the right size because most of you know the ATC is two and a half by three and a half that way. So I'm gonna start trimming these all up because they're gorgeous and I thought what better idea than to use these for a pocket letter. I picked this collection up off Etsy and it's called Secret Place. It is um, Minte by Carol. didn't finish my tassel on all of them yet but I will be finishing it up and I'm gonna just go one by one and show you how they all turned out and I had so much fun with this so the thing was is I went out specifically to get tea because I didn't have any cool tea bags I only had Lipton tea so I got this and it doesn't fit in my little pocket here so I ended up just using my circle punch and making like a little tab so I could punch the hole through it. And I thought that was pretty clever of me. And yeah, I made a little tassel right here. Super adorable. And then this is just my little card with the handmade. And I wrote 2021 mini pocket letter swap hosted by Happy Mail Stamper. So I'm going to add this to the other three. I just haven't quite done it yet. And I did try this tea, you guys, and it tasted really, really yummy. And I really picked it out specifically because it was pink. And I felt like echinacea, all right, that's kind of interesting. Maybe it will keep us all healthy. So, yeah, that's my tea bag. And here's the actual pocket letter. I did a little stitching down the side here and here are my pretty cards and I did not want to add much to them because I just love this paper and I think it is so super pretty. So I made a little bow here on each one that is just stuck on with a little glue dot so it could come off and be reused. And yeah, I just could not alter these cards and I put a beautiful sequins mix. I made the mix with all a bunch of little sequins that I had. And then in the back, I included some of the mix separate. Or you can, I guess, open that up and have even more. But I put that here and then I put some stickers and little embellishments in that pocket over there. So that was the way I did my mini pocket letter and I made them all with the same theme. So they all look very, very similar here. And I meant to say I also did stitch my pocket shut because I don't have a fuse tool. So I did that with some ribbon and then I popped on a little gem butterfly. So these are the cards that I cut out for this one out of that piece that had all those card shapes. And I just think they're beautiful. I hope that whoever gets each one of these enjoys it. And it's all very similar, like I said. And the images are just slightly different on the cards. And yeah, the backs are all stuffed the same way. And then we got this one here. And then we got the bow. And all the back is stuffed up. 
So, yeah, go buy Happy Mail Stamper, Joanne's channel, and check out this challenge and everyone that's been participating. And I'm gonna have my little tea bag. This is how they are before I attach them. That's what they look like. And I'm gonna add those to each of them and my card, and that is gonna be it. So let me know what you think about my little mini pocket letters and how I decorated them. All right, guys, that is it for today. Those are my mini pocket letters for Joanne's challenge. I had a great time with these. They're fun, really fun to make, and fun to swap, simple and fun. So let me know what you think down below. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload to YouTube. I'll see you soon. Bye.